Women are protesting soft guy era. So, I mean, guys, it is getting extremely bad out there. Women are furious. Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle is going on tangents. As I've said before, she is now putting out videos telling women overseas that they're not getting what they're supposed to be getting from men. They're saying she's telling them that a cup of coffee in the U.S. costs $5. So these men spending the equivalent of $5 on them is nothing. They're not getting what they're supposed to be getting from these men. These men are taking advantage of them. So first she could not, you know, these women, they could not defeat these men. They couldn't stop men from dating these women. They couldn't stop women from dating these men. So now they're trying to sow seeds of division. Eddie Murphy actually talked about this in the 80s. He was doing a very popular stand-up special, and he basically explained how, you know, a man could go overseas. This was back in the 1980s. Go overseas to Africa, get a woman in Africa who was riding on a zebra. It's not he, – he used this as an example just to show that a woman who had literally nothing that was completely unclothed and riding on a zebra with a bone in her bone in her nose or whatever – bring her back to the U.S., and she, you know, she comes back to the U.S., she had nothing in the, in Africa, and a woman from the U.S. will go catch her off guard, mess her, and mess everything up, you know, she'll, she, one minute she's happy, the next minute, you know, this, this woman in the U.S. will go to her and say, listen, um, fufu, you know, Eddie's here taking advantage of you. You know how rich Eddie is here in America. You don't have to. You don't have to struggle the way you struggle in Africa. You're entitled to half of his stuff, half of everything. And Eddie Murphy, he ain't nothing. Okay, you may think he's something over in Africa. He ain't nothing here in America. I'll tell you about Eddie Murphy. All right, you can go. You can get get all the bones you want and go back to Africa in style. And the moment that you you confront this woman, you know, the uh, you know the woman American woman who messed up her mind will just run off. This is the American feminist. He talked about them in the 80s. And now you're left with an ang angry African woman who is pissed off with you. And you're, ask you're asking, what's wrong? And she's like, I'm not happy. Why aren't you happy? What have you done for me lately? Uh, well, what, what do you want? I want half. I want half. I want half your stuff. That's what I want. This is the reality of it. And now with soft guy era, men are flipping the script and saying, listen, I am the table. I am the prize. I'm not dating any brokies anymore. What do you bring to the table? You know, if you don't, and, and don't mention, don't, don't you dare mention physical intimacy. Cause if that's what I want, I would go and get an escort. Okay. But if I'm looking for a relationship then you need to bring something to the table. Okay. We're not going to talk about physical intimacy. That's disgusting. Okay. If I wanted to get an escort, if I wanted to engage in that type of relationship, I would. I'm not doing that. All right. You need to show me my, you know, I'm a man of value. I am the table. I am the prize. So you need to show me that you have something that, that you're, that you, that you actually bring something of value yourself that, you know, that, 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 you know, cause why would I want to bring you in my life so that you could basically just live off me? You're a functional adult. You're in a, you know, you're a woman. This is, you know, you, you, you're, you're a feminist, you know, I mean, basically, so you need to bring something to the table. OK, and don't say and, and don't bring up equity. Oh, you want to be treated like a girl? No, I want to be treated like a human being. I want to be treated like an equal. I am your equal. OK, I'm not so I am not superior to you, but I am not also but I am not lower than you as well. I'm not your I'm not your superior, nor am I nor am I your inferior, but I am the table and I am the prize. And you need to show me what a value you have. So if you have. So listen. You can take me out on that date. You can pay for this meal. You can have conversation with me. You can show me that you can actually make me feel peace when we're around. Okay? You can let me know what you will actually contribute to the marriage. Because I am the table. I am the prize. And women are furious about this. You know, the trend is basically, you know, Chad and Tyrone, they go out, they get these women pregnant, and then the single mothers are now looking for a plan B guy to raise these children for them. And it's and, and men are literally saying it's not going to happen anymore. I was looking at a video on another channel recently, and I found it pretty interesting how they evaluated because you can see the women are absolutely furious. The video was titled Why Single Bombs Have No Value to Men. And again, I didn't title it that, that way, but this is what the video was titled. It's by Richard Cooper Unplugged. And you can basically just see the anger and fury and disdain that these women have when the question is brought up, what do you have to offer? What do you bring? 
It's disgusting. It's literally disgusting how they go about it. Curious, Jasmine, what is it that you bring to the table when it comes to a relationship with a man? I, I knew this question was coming. <laughs> I, I bring to the relationship. Yeah. Table. So the table. Yeah, because I've heard a lot of you know demands and holes and love and romance. I'm just curious, like what is it that you bring? Okay, are we going to talk about materialism, or are we going to talk about some like deep, like um, you know, emotional? What, what are the what are the redeeming qualities that exist within you that men desire that would want to invite you into their life and take you on as a, a girlfriend, a wife, or even adopt your twin daughters? Um, that's like going really far. That's like kind of my like red flag <laughs> because so, in order to like, what are the qualities that you bring to the table? Is what I'm asking. Why would a guy be with you? Why would I? Okay, first of all, I'm a I'm a very uh, dedicated mother. Like I I'm really um, involved with everything that I do with my daughters. How does that How does that benefit me as a man? You're 42. You can't have any more kids. You've already got kids. Why is that a benefit to me? Well, I'm. Uh, who said that I'm going to give you kids? <laughs> That's the point that I'm making. Because I'm not entering a relationship to have a baby. Maybe I just want a companion. I know, but you're but talking me, about being a great is, mother. Yeah. How is that a benefit to me as a man? Okay, first of all, I don't... Like, there's no benefit to me as a man. Like, do you understand that? Yes, I understand that. But that's kind of like you speaking from your own point of view. Are we talking about you or men? No, I'm asking. No, I'm asking you. What is it that you bring to the table when it comes to a relationship? The first thing that you went to is, "I'm a wonderful mother." Yeah. Those and kids aren't mine. You're not going to bring me any new kids. No, There's no benefit to that story. That so, matters a lot because you have even the brought the example at the very beginning of the show, which I paid attention. You said a lot of the women bring men home and in, you know introducing their kids with the men. That's something I will never do until I get married to somebody else. I'm very, very clear on that. Okay, so no, we're not going to see my child. Until Guys, I want you to look very clear, carefully at all of the women in the video. Look very carefully. Look at the faces of everyone in the video. Look at the women. There's only two men here. There's one, two, three, four. Well, actually, five women. Okay, there's the one that's speaking, and there are the other women. Look at their faces. Look at the smiles on their guys. Look how look how look at their faces. Look how blank their faces are. Okay, this is what men are dealing with. What do you bring to the table? N none of these women cannot answer that question. They cannot answer that question. Okay, Veronica, is that is that even a house that she's in, or is that a, like a medical office? I don't know, guys. They, she cannot answer the question. She starts talking about how much of a good mother she is. What does that have to do with me? He points out that you're not going to have any more children. You're, you know, you're 42. You're not having any more children. She then she responds, "What makes you think I want to have more children?" He says, "Exactly. You're not having any more children. Uh, is that that's none of your business?" Okay, so if you're not giving me children, which is what I, what I just said, what do you bring to the table? You know, why would I want to take care of you and your child? Well, we wouldn't even be discussing that until we get to the point of marriage. So why would I even want to have a relationship with you? Are we talking about your perspective as a man? Or are we talking about the perspective of all men? Notice how she starts going in circles. She cannot actually say what a value she brings, what she would, what would make a man want to be in a relationship with her. I'm a good mother. Okay, how does that benefit me in any way that you're a good mother? That's not my child. I can, you know, you can, you can say that, well, I might be a good father, a stepfather to help raise your kid, but how does you being a good mother to your kid benefit me in any way whatsoever? This is why, guys, the simp economy is moving overseas. This is why they hate soft guy era so much, because it basically says, what do you have to offer? What do you bring? And, guys, they, they, they have nothing. This is the reason why they say women are born rich and pass away poor. They, leave the, they come into the world rich. They leave the world poor. Men are born. They, men come into the world poor. They leave the world rich because men have to build their value while women live off a perceived sense of value. Let me make this very clear. Women do not, in, what, in modern society, do not actually have any real value. 
in a relationship. They don't have any real value, the typical woman, because they don't, guys, they're not bringing money. They're not bringing utility in Western society. They're not bringing skill sets into the relationship where they will, you know, they'll make a peaceful home for the man. They will cook so that he says so that he will, they will cook for the family and enjoy it so that they cut down on cost in the home. They will help, you know, they will do sewing, repair clothing. They will raise children. They will, you know, they will create their value within the home. They don't do any of that. They don't even have the skill sets for that. They can't cook. They can't clean. And they really don't like kids to begin with. They just want to live lives of, so they want to live soft lives of luxury and comfort. And, and, and that's how it's supposed to be because they are women and they are entitled to it by the very virtue of being a woman, yet they're feminist. So they're strong. They're powerful and they don't need a man. But if a man is in a relationship with them, a man has to provide everything and anything for them and constantly try to make them happy and keep on leveling up because what, what he was giving to her yesterday is not enough today. It's not good anymore. He needs to constantly give her more to make her happy. Do you see how insane that is? But if, that's only if it's, a, if it's a plan B guy. Chad and Tyrone, they don't have to pay for anything. Because those are the men that they actually love. And of course, little Poncho, they love little Poncho. Little Poncho is kicking up his little feet in your bed, eating your bed, farting in your bed. He, sleep, he sleeps with your pillow between his legs. So sometimes, you know, because little Poncho has diabetes now. So <laughs> Oh, God. Little Poncho has diabetes now. So sometimes the pee pee just slip a little bit of pee pee, little bit of pee pee. It just slip, it just slips, it just slips, and it and, and gets onto your pillow. But that's okay because it's no longer your pillow; it's our pillow. Okay, it's our pillow. It's it's little Poncho's pillow and your pillow. You share, you share, you just like you share the woman, you share the pillow, and just like you share the pillow, you share the bed. Okay, just like you share the bed, you share the food. Because it's not just you. It's you, her, and, and little Poncho. Guys, the full video is in the description. You can go and check it out. Check out uh, check out the channels and, uh, you know, and watch the full video because this is a load of hoot. Don't forget I have another channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more of this content, you can head over to the Men Walking Away channel. I release daily videos on the Men Walking Away channel, and there's a link to that channel in the description of the video. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Women are protesting soft guy era, and honestly, men don't care. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, Men Walking Away. And cheers.